हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर गुड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू फॉर बींग पार्ट ऑफ माई क्लास वेलकम टू क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड वीडियो ऑन रेशियो एंड प्रपोर्शन ओके इट्स अ वाइड नीड ऑफ अदर टॉपिक्स इन क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड जनरली फोर टू फाइव क्वेश्चन आर आस्क बाय बैंकिंग एंड अदर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स लाइक एस एस सी आर आर बीस ओके लेट बी सी small introduction and shortcuts on ratio and proportion and some of basic level questions okay before going to start today's session we should know what is ratio and what is proportion and try to understand the concept with examples and solve questions okay first we'll see ratio okay ratio is nothing but comparison of two units Are things which are similar to each other. Okay, for example, we can compare length of pen with length of pencil. Okay, here distance is the unit. Okay, length is the unit. So we can't compare the things which are not similar to each other. Okay, for example, we cannot compare the weight of a person to height of a person okay right the units are different so we cannot compare this is the ratio okay all of you got the idea about ratio okay for example weight weight of raj is 50 kg okay weight of raj is 50 kg weight of Krish, weight of Krish is hundred kgs. Okay, we can compare these two persons because weight is the common unit. Ratio between Raj and Krish is fifty kgs is hundred kgs. Okay, fifty one is fifty two. The ratio between Raj and Krish is one is to two. Okay, one more. When we apply multiplication or division on fraction, the fraction does not may effect. Okay, for example, duplicate fraction. Okay, in the sense double one is to two. Okay, square. One square one, two square four, okay. I triplicate. That is one cube, two cube, one eight, okay. If we multiply the fraction with two, the fraction does not affect, okay. Two is to four, two ones are two, two twos are four. So again two and the two two the one is to two, okay. If you multiply or division, the fraction may not affect, right? This is ratio. Next, proportion, okay. Proportion it refers to the quantities of two ratios, okay. Suppose A is to B is proportional to C is to D, okay. This is called proportion. Okay, quantities two ratios are in proportion. Okay, okay friends, this is the introduction to ratio and proportion. Let me see basic level questions on it. Okay, first question: A is to B equals to two is to three. B is to C. Equals to four is to five. Then find the value of a is to b is to c. Okay, here a is to b is two is to three, b is to c is four is to five. Okay, a is to b is two is to three, b is to c is four is to five. We need to find a is to b is to c. Okay, here one trick we can follow. Reverse n. Okay. 
for a is to b is to c if three factors in question we can follow this reverse and do so multiply likewise okay 2 4 is a 8 8 4 3 is a 12 3 5 is a 15 okay a is to b is to c is 8 is to 12 is to 15 in other way we can do a b c a is to b is what 2 is to 3 b is to c 4 is to 5 here empty place is there okay we need to shift this value to here so 3 here also empty place here i am shifting 4 to here okay simply 4 to the 8 4 3 the 12 5 3 the 15 okay these two ways we can find the a is to b is to c values okay these two are best methods okay next one p equals to 3 by 5 q okay q equals to 1 divided by 3 r then find p is to q is to r okay here we can write ratio to fraction a is to b we can write it as a divided by b so here 3 by 5 is there so we can write it as 3 is to 5 okay p divided by q equals to 3 is to 5 that is p is to q equals to 3 is to 5 same way q is to r equals to 1 is to 3 okay so 3 is to 5, 1 is to 3. Reverse same. Okay. 3, 1, 5 is a 5, 5, 3 is a 15. Okay. 3 is to 5 is to 15. Other hands, P, Q, R. Okay. 3 is to 5, 1 is to 3. Moving 5 to this place, 1 to here. Okay. 3, 1 is a 3. 5 1 the 5, 5 3 the 15. Okay. 3 is to 5 is to 15. Right. Next question. 2A equals to 3B. 4B equals to 5C. Then find A is to B is to C. Okay. Here. 2A equals to 3B. Okay. We can write it as a is to b equals to 3 is to 2. Okay. That is a by b equals to 3 by 2. So, we can write it as 3 is to 2. Here, b is to c equals to 5 is to 4. Then, a, b, c. 3 is to 2, 5 is to 4. Reverse in. 5, 3 is a 15. 5, 2 is a 10. 4, 2 is a 8. Okay. a is to b is to c equals to 15 is to 10 is to 8. In other hands, A, B, C. Okay. 3 is to 2, 5 is to 4. Moving 2. Here, 5. Okay. 5, 3 is a 15. 5, 2 is a 10. 4, 2 is a 8. Okay. 15 is to 10 is to 8. Right. Next question. A divided by 2 equals to B divided by 3 equals to C divided by 5. Then find A is to B is to C is 1. Okay. In this type of questions, the answer is in question only. So, here A's ratio value is 2. B's ratio value is 3. C ratio value is 5. So, A is to B is to C is nothing but 2 is to 3 is to 5. Okay. These type of questions may ask in clerk level exam. Okay. To confuse the aspirants. Next question. A is to B equals to 2 is to 3. Okay. B is to C equals to 4 is to 5. C 
is to d equals to 2 is to 1. Then find a is to b is to c is to d. Okay. Here four factors are there. a is to b equals to 2 is to 3. b is to c equals to 4 is to 5. c is to d equals to 2 is to 1. Then we need to find a is to b is to c is to d. Okay. Right. First we need to find a is to b is to c. Okay. That is 2 is to 3, 4 is to 5. Okay. Four, reverse again. 4 2 is 8, 4 3 is 12, 5 3 is 15. Okay. 8 is to 12 is to 15. Then this is a is to b is to c. Next value c is to d equals to 2 is to 1. Here c is 15. Here 2 is to 1. So we need to equalize the ratios. So here we need to multiply with 2. Here we need to multiply with 15. Then 15 to the 30, 15 to the 30. So we can equate C value by multiplying here 2 and here 15. So 8 to the 16, 12 to the 24, 15 to the 30. So C value is, C and D is 30 and 15. 15 ones are 15. So 30 and 15. 16, 24, 30, 15. Okay. A is to B is to C is to D is 16, 24, 30, 15. In other hands we can do A, B, C, D. Right. A is to B is 2 is to 3. B is to C is 4 is to 5. Okay. Then C is to D is 2 is to 1. Right. This is easiest method. Then I am shifting this 3 to empty place. And one more. 3. Here A. So I am shifting this 4 to here. Next 2. Okay. Here 5. Okay, all places are filled. Next, multiply. 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16 is 2. 4 3 is 12, 12 to the 24. 5 3 is 15, 15 to the 30. 5 3 is 15. Okay, in two ways we can get same answer. Next question. P is to Q equals to 2 is to 3. Q is to R equals to 4 is to 1. R is to S equals to 3 is to 4. Okay. Then find P is to Q is to R is to S. Okay. First method. Here we need to find P, Q, R. Okay. P is to Q is 2 is to 3. Q is to R is 4 is to 1. Right? Then PQR is 4 to the reverse end, 4 to the 8, 4 3 is 12, 3 1 is 3. Okay? This is PQR. Next, we have R value 3. Okay? R is to S is 3 is to 4. Here, both the values are same. R value. So, no need to multiply. Simply write the PQRS ratio. 12, 3 and 4. P, Q, R, S. Okay. This is first method. Second method. So, P, Q, R, S. Okay. P is to Q is 2, 3. Q is to R, 4, 1. R is to S, 3, 4. Okay. Shifting 3 to R, S. 3, 3. Here, 1. Here shifting 4 and 3, 3. Okay. Then simply multiply. Okay. 4 to the 8, 8, 3 is 24. Okay. 4, 3 is 12, 12, 3 is 36. 3, 3 is 9. 4, 3 is 12. Okay. We can multiply with 3. 3, 8 is 3, 12, 3, 3 is 3, 4 is So, PQRS ratio is 8 is to 12 is to 3 is to 4. Okay. Next question. 
a is to b equals to 3 is to pi. Okay. b is to c equals to 10 is to 9. Then find a is to c. Okay. So in this type of question we can write a divided by into b divided by c. Okay. So 3 by pi into 10 by 9. Here b b cancelling. So remaining one a by c that is a is to c. 3 3 is a 9, 5 2 is a 10, 2 by 3. So ratio is 2 is to 3. a is to c equals to 2 is to 3. Next question a is to b equals to 2 is to 3. b is to c equals to 5 is to 4. C is to D equals to 7 is to 10. Right? Then find A is to B. Is what? Same way A by B into B by C into C by D equals to 2 by 3 into 5 by 4 into 7 by 10. Right? B, B cancel. C, C cancel. Remaining one, A is to D. Right? So, here, 2 ones are, 2 twos are, 5 ones are, 5 twos. Okay? Here, 7 is to, 3 twos are 6, 6 twos are 12. Okay? 7 by 12 equals to, 7 is to 12. Okay? A is to D equals to, 7 is to 12. Okay? Next question. 6 is to x equals to 3 is to 5. Then x equals to 1. Okay. Find the value of x. Here from the proportion we know when ad equals to bc. So 6 into 5 equals to x into 3. Right. Here 3 ones are 3 twos are x equals to 5 to the 10. Right? Next question. The fourth proportional to the fourth proportional to 6, 8, 9 is what? Okay? The fourth proportional to 6, 8, 9. Okay? We know the rule of proportion that is product of mains equals to product of extremes. So 6, 8, 9 and remaining one is x, fourth one. Okay. Product of mains equals to product of extremes. Okay. 6x equals to 8 into 9. Okay. 3 2 is a 3, 3 is a 2, 4 is a x equals to 4, 3 is a 12. Okay. Fourth proportional directly we can write it as D equals to. If we assume A is to B equals to C is to D. You can write fourth proportional directly. D equals to B C by A. Okay. This is the formula. Otherwise we can do general method. Right. Next question. The third proportional to 4. 6 is what? Okay. The third proportional to 4, 6. Okay. From the proportion again, A, B, A is to B equals to B is to C. Okay. We need C. C equals to product of means and product of extremes. That is B square by A. Right. C equals to B square by A. Okay. Here, B value is 6. Okay, 6 square is 6 into 6 divided by A is 4. Okay, 2 2 is a 2 3 is a and 2 3 is a 3 3 is a 9. C value is 9. Right, third proportional value is 9. Next question, the mean proportional. Okay, the mean proportional to 8 comma 32 is what? Okay. Mean proportional means A is to B 
equals to b is to c. Okay. We need to find mean proportional. So that is b square equals to ac. We can write it as b equals to under root ac. Okay. Here we have two terms that is a and c. That is 8 and 32. Okay. 32 8s are 256. So under root 16 square. Square root cancel 16 is the mean proportional to 8 comma 33. Next question. In a class total students is 40. Then find the ratio between girls and boys. This type of questions we need to observe first options. Okay. By eliminating options we can get answer easily without calculation. Okay. Option A is 2 is to 1. Option B is 4 is to 3. Option C is 5 is to 3. Option D is 7 is to 4. Okay. First, total number of students is 40. Okay. From first option, 2 is to 1. That is 3. Okay. Second option, 7. 4 is to 3. Fifth, third option, 5 is to 3, 8. And last, 7 is to 4. That is 11. Okay. Here 3 is not multiple of 40 and 7 also and 8 is the multiple of 40 and 11 is not. So eliminating these 3 options. This is 5 is to 3. Okay. The ratio between girls and boys are 5 is to 3. Okay. Within less time we can eliminate the options and answer the question easily. Right. Next question. In a class, ratio between girls and boys is 5 to 2. Then find the total number of students in class. Okay. The ratio between girls and boys are 5 to 2. Okay. Total, find the total numbers in class. Okay. From options, option A is 60, 91, 75, 65. Okay. Here, we should find total number of students. Here 5 plus 2, 7. Total means addition. Okay. 5 plus 2 total numbers should multiple of 7. Okay. Here 60 is eliminated. And 91 is 7 multiple. 75 not. 65 not. Okay. Here 7 is the multiple of 91. So total number of students in class are 91. Right? Next question. In a carton containing a dozen of mirrors is dropped, which of the following cannot be ratio of broken to unbroken? Okay. okay. Mirrors are 12. Okay. We need to find which of the following cannot be the ratio of broken to unbroken mirrors. Okay. First one is 2 is to 1. Second one 3 is to 1. Third one 3 is to 2. 4th one 7 is to 5. Okay. These are the 4 options. Here 12. 2 plus 1 3. Broken and unbroken. So total are 3. Here 3 is the multiple of 12. So 4. 4 also. 5. And 7, 5, 12. Okay. From these all options we know 5 is the not multiple of 12. So, this is not a ratio to broken and unbroken mirrors. Okay. Third option is the right answer for this question. Next question. The area of two spheres are in the ratio 1 is to 4. The ratio of their value is. Okay. So, area of sphere is 4 pi r square. Okay. The ratio between areas of two spheres is 1 is to 4. Okay. That is 4 pi r square divided by 4 pi r square. Because 2 spheres area. That is 1 divided by 4. Okay. 4 pi 4 pi cancel. r square divided by 
capital R square equals to 1 divided by 4. Then find the ratio of their values. Okay. So, value of sphere. Value of sphere is 4 pi r cube. Right. So, here we need to find r value. So, here square square cancel 1 divided by 2. R by capital R equals to 1 divided by 2. So, 4 pi r cube by 4 pi capital R cube. Right. Then, 4 pi 4 pi cancel r cube by capital R cube. So, here we have r by capital R that is 1 divided by 2. So, cubit that is 1 divided by 8. Ratio of volume of sphere is 1 is to 8. Right. Next question. The speed of the cars are in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. The ratio between times taken by them to travel the same distance. Okay. Speed ratio is 3 is to 4 is to 5. Okay. We know when speed time is inversely proportional to speed. Okay. So, we need to find time. Inverse is 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 5. Okay. We need to find by LCM 3, 4, 5. That is 60. Okay. 3, 20 is a 60. Is 2. 4, 15 is a. And 5, 12 is a. Okay. Time taken to travel same distance. Ratio is 20 is to 15 is to 12. Right. Next question. If a plus b is to c equals to 7 is to 2 and b plus c is to a equals to 5 is to 1, then find a is to b is to c. Okay. a plus b is to c equals to 7 is to 2. b plus c is to a equals to 5 is to 1. Then find a is to b is to c is what? Okay, right? Here, a plus b is to c equals to 7 is to 2. Here, if we add a plus b plus c equals to, from first, 7 plus 2 is 9. From here, second one, a plus b plus c equals to 5 plus 1, 6. Here, we need to equate the two ratios. Here, 6 and here, 9. Okay? To equate this common factor is 18. So, 9 2 is a and 6 3 is a. So, multiply 2 with first ratio. That is 7 2 is a 14 and 2 2 is a 4. And here 3 5 is a 15 and 3 1 is a 3. Right? Here from this C value is 4. Okay? From this A value is 3. Okay, we know when a plus b plus c equals to 18. Right? So, substituting c and a values. So, c plus a, 4 plus 3, 7. So, a equals to, sorry, b equals to 18 minus 7, that is 11. Okay? a is to b is to c is 3 is to 11 is to 4. Okay? This is the way of Finding ratio. Right? Nothing. First equating ratio. That is a plus b plus c equals to 9. Here a plus b plus c equals to 6. So equating these two ratios by common factor. Then multiplying with particular ratio. After multiplying we can get two values. So by substituting this, the two values into a plus b plus c equals to 18. Then we get the remaining value. So totally 3 is to 11 is to 4 is the ratio. Next question. If a plus b plus c is to d equals to 13 is to 2. And b plus c plus d is to a equals to 4 is to 1. c plus d plus a is to b equals to 5 is to 1. Then find the value of a is to b is to c is to d. 
right okay a plus b plus c is to d equals to 13 is to 12 okay b plus c plus d is to a equals to 4 is to 1 c plus d plus a is to b equals to 5 is to 1 and then 5 a is to b is to c is to d. Okay. Here a plus b plus d equals to 15. Okay. Here a plus b plus c plus d equals to 5. Here 5 plus 1, 6. Okay. We need to equal these three values. Okay. So common factor is 15, 5, 6. So 30. Multiply 15 to the and 5, 6 the. 6, 5. Okay? Right? After multiplying with 2, 13 to the 26, 2 to the 4. Next, 5, 6, the, sorry, 4, 6, the, 24, 6, 1, the 6. Next, 5, 5, the 25 and 1, 5, the 5. Okay? After multiplying, these are the ratios are in equal. So, from this, we can write A value is 6 and D value is 4 and B value is 5. So, we know A plus B plus C plus D equals to 30. Okay? A plus B plus C plus D equals to 30. So, we know the values of A, B, D. So, we need to find Remaining value C. So, 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. So, C equals to 30 minus 15. Then, C value is 15. So, ratio is 6 is to 5 is to 15 is to 4. A is to B is to C is to D equals to 6 is to 5 is to 15 is to 4. Right? Next question. Two numbers are in the ratio 1 is to 2. If 7 is added to both, the change is to 3 is to 5. Okay. The greatest number is what? Right. Two numbers are in the ratio 1 is to 2. Okay. If you add 7 on both sides, so x plus 7 divided by 2x plus 7. The ratio changes to 3 divided by 5. Okay, find the greatest number. Simply cross multiply 5x plus 35 equals to 6x plus 21. Okay, 6x, 5x, x equals to 35 minus 21. That is 14. Okay, x value is 14. We need to find greatest number. Okay, so 2x, 2 into 14. Okay, 28 is the greatest number. Okay, in other hands, this is general method, this is shortcut method. Okay, if you adding 7 on both sides, okay, the, great, the ratio becomes 3 is to 5. Okay, and the, we need to find greatest number. Okay, if you add 7 on both sides, simply we can Eliminate the options. Okay. 3 is to 5 is the ratio. Okay. 3 is to 5. Greatest number is 5. Okay. We have options 24, 26, 28, 32. Okay. Right. If we add 7, this value is multiple of 5. Okay. The greatest number. Okay, multiple of 5. 24 plus 7, 31. So, not. 26 plus 7, 33. No. 28 plus 7, 35. Okay, 32 plus 7, 39. From these, only 35 is the multiple of 5. Okay, 
simply we can answer 28 option is the right okay in exam no need to write we can do mind calculation in additions okay right next question the income of a and b are in the ratio of 3 is to 2 and their expenditures are in the ratio of 5 is to 3 if each saves 1000 rupees is income is what okay income income equals to 3 is to 2 and expenditure expenditure is equals to 5 is to 3 right here if each saves 1000 rupees Okay, then find the A's income. If income becomes 3x is to 2x. Okay, expenditure let me 3y2 is to 5y is to 3y. So, savings are income minus expenditure. Okay, 3x minus 5y equals to 1000. And 2x minus 3y equals to 1000. Okay, by solving this equation we can find A's income. Okay, here multiplying with 3 and here 2. So, 3 to the 6, 2 3 is the 6. 6 x 6 6 cancel and 5 to the 10 y minus 9 y. Okay, minus y equals 2000 minus 3000. Okay, minus 1000. Okay, minus minus cancel. Y value is 1000. Okay. By y value, we can get x value. That is 3x minus 5y equals to 1000. Okay. 5y in the sense 5000. 3x minus 5000 equals to 1000. 3x equals to 6000. Okay. x equals to 2000. Okay. Then s income is 3x. So, 3 into definitely 3x equals to 6000. Okay, here no need to calculate again. Okay, 3x equals to 6000. Right? Okay, friends. This is our today's session. Okay, practice more and more questions. I understand the basic concept. We can easily answer the different types of difficult questions. Okay. Once again telling this ratio and proportion is important to upcoming topics. Okay. Subscribe my channel SCS Vajra Tutorials and hit the like button. If you like, share with your friends. Okay. Thank you for watching.